Okay, so I literally just finished wrapping up a review video. Let me see if the light's better here. Okay, there we go. Um, a review video. I had to take some pictures for this wig. And I like it, y'all. It's a V-part wig. So I'll probably drop the details down below. Um, I'm gonna have a couple hair stuff coming up. But um, yeah, I just got wrapped and it was easy. I just needed to take some pictures in it and do like a couple seconds video, which I did. So yeah, I like it. It's a cute wig. Yeah. Sorry, my camera died. So I'm filming on my phone right now, but I just wanted to show y'all the wig. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's cute. And I was worried about my hair because, you know, I'm a blonde now. And this is a black wig. It is black. And I was worried about my hair not blending in well with it. But I must say, like, it actually did okay. It actually did okay. So, yeah. I want to take these lashes off. Oh, they irritate me. Anyway, I finished taking my pictures. And I'm happy. Hopefully the brand is happy with them and I don't have to retake nothing because I don't feel like it And I'm about to take this wig off And take these um lashes off this one coming off already anyway Oh lord chair yeah. I don't know how people do it I don't know how people do it with these long ass lashes. They irritate me. I think I might trim them But anyway but they look cute though, I'm not even gonna lie. Right now they kinda look like birds, but they look cute in the video and stuff when I filmed it. So anyway, whatever, I'ma take them off because they irritating me. Like I said, I don't really like long, long, long lashes like that. So these ones gonna have to come off. But anyway, I haven't actually been feeling good all weekend. I think I've already covered that um, in parts of this vlog. So I'm actually really needing a break um, and just to take it kind of easy. So I cleaned and stuff, but I'm just gonna take it easy for the rest of the evening because I can't. Hey y'all, so yeah, like I was saying, so I'm going to go and get my bridesmaid dress altered. So it's gonna be done. I ain't gonna worry about it. Yeah, two weeks ago. <laughs> two weeks ago to the wind, yeah. But, I really, like, I just didn't feel like there was a point in me getting the dress altered and I didn't have my shoes. And I just got my shoes. My shoes actually came a lot quicker because I didn't think they would come in until, like, around now or maybe, like, the weekend or whatever. But they came faster, so they literally came within, like, two days, which is amazing. But, um, yeah, I didn't expect, you know my shoe I wanted to wait until I got my shoes so that at least the alterations can be done accordingly and to the right heel height you know what I'm saying so got the shoes everything's in I'm happy now and we just gonna get it done I can't believe my cousin's gonna be a missus y'all I remember my wedding day and oh my gosh like I remember when I kept going to go and get my dress fitted I had like about four fittings also and my seamstress was amazing she was in london though um so and it's been a couple years <laughs> it's kind of my age lord but yeah it was a couple years since i've been married but um since i got married and been married mm. anyways um yeah because i'm three years divorced nearly four but anyways <laughs> Let me get back to the story. So yeah, my um my seamstress was amazing. And I remember every time I would go and get a fitting done, she would be like, you need to stop losing weight. Like the, the last time that I fit it is the last time I can. Lo and behold, that wedding came and baby. When I tell you, when you're planning a wedding, you really don't even need to like necessarily like work out and and be on some strict ass diet and stuff like that. Because you naturally, natural. I, well, for me, that weight dropped off. It just dropped off, and I don't know why I wasn't doing. I was eating what I wanted to eat and stuff like that. It was just like a little bit closer to the wedding, like when everyone started arriving in town and stuff. And people only came in town like 
a day or two before the wedding. Two days. No. They came rehearsal day. No. Some people came rehearsal day. Some people came the day before. But yeah, majority of people didn't come till like, you know, a day or two before the wedding. And like, that's when my nerves started getting bad. And then like preparing the reception hall. Like just, I was so stressed, guys. I was so stressed. So, um, and I gotta say, like my ex-husband, I'll say something good about him, I guess. No, I'm <laughs> There's a lot of good things about my ex-husband that, you know, I, I wouldn't have married him had he not been good, you know, a good guy. And I've got to say, like, I'll give him his props. He, he really came through that night because I actually had a breakdown the night before the wedding whilst I was trying to get everything done. And everyone was like, V... You need to give it to other people and you should just be relaxing at this point. You know, I should just be chilling, relaxing, catching my breath and just basking in the moment and enjoying family and friends. That's what, you know, you should be doing the night before, not kind of stressing over seeing stuff. And, you know, I just, but that's just like the inner control freak in me. I couldn't let go. Like I couldn't, you know, but I have to say, everybody said that that was like one of the best weddings they ever went to. They had such a great time. We had such a good time. It was so fun, you know, and I get to do it all over again because now I'm divorced. Um, you know, me and my ex went through stuff and, you know, sometimes, unfortunately, that's the way things end. I think it was for the best, um, personally. Sometimes I do sit back and I, I look back and there are times, there have been times where I'm like, should I have made it work? Should I not have made it work? I mean, I don't want to go into the details. I've already done a whole video on my divorce and stuff. So if you want to see what I had to say about it and stuff like that, um, going through a divorce and how to get over a heartbreak, it's that video. You can go and search it and look it up. And you will see everything I have to say on it. I'm not going to talk too much about my marriage. Like, you know, now. But I, it's just like bringing back memories. Like, my cousin preparing to get married and things like that. I just, I love to see it. It's just everybody's turn now, you know. And I honestly, 110% hands down believe in marriage. For one man, I don't want to be running the streets. I just, I just want to be dedicated to one man and have my family and, you know us be a unit and build this empire together god has my person you know god has him and he she he will show him to me and we gonna have a great life together but anyway i'm gonna let y'all off i've been here on the tangent for 10 minutes i gotta go bye <laughs> hey guys i'm in the store and i came because this is the first time i've seen this in kroger which is cool um i've been wanting to try the native body washes I am stuck on LA though right now. Absolutely in love with them. But if you guys have tried Native, let me know what you think about it. Is it worth me trying it? Should I try it? Because I need to know. I've been seeing a lot of people talking about it and going crazy over it. So I just wanted to check out that. But I actually came down this aisle to see the sun care. Because now that it's heating up and the sun's out a lot, I wanted to get me some sunscreen. And I heard that this one right here is the best. The Avino is really good. Protect and hydrate sunscreen. All day hydration, 60. Yesterday, I forgot salmon when I came in Kroger's. Oh, this look kind of nice. Some kind of, have y'all ever seen Bay Ridge Sturban Moscato? Oh, and they got peach Moscato too. Wait, it's only two ninety nine. Okay, so I may ride with this. Why it's only two ninety nine? That'd be the cheapest one I done ever bought in my life. Should I try it? Oh wait, it's too early. I can't buy it right now. It's too early. It's not eleven. Grab me some salmon. It's so expensive, y'all. Why is salmon so high? This thing says twenty six dollars and 87 cents. Oh. I kind of want a little less than that. Let me see if I can find something else. 
Okay, y'all, I guess I'm just gonna have to buy. I'm not gonna cook all of this. I'm probably keep some of it in my freezer. It's $27. Ridiculous. But it is what it is. I really wanted to try that one. I'm gonna come back. Not today, but I'm gonna come back and see if I can try it one day, cause, cause I mean, it was cheap. And I gotta see if it tastes good and it's cheap. I'm gonna put y'all on game. I'm gonna put y'all on game for my mascara lovers. Okay, let's get out of this store. It's time for breakfast. Sorry, y'all. You know, we got a little road rage in her a little. Sometimes they be coming out. Ah! <laughs> I be trying to be nice though. I really do be trying to be nice, but sometimes people test my patience. So, y'all bet. I look, I know they be like, oh, you know, people be thinking like Rona is over and stuff, but it really ain't. Y'all better still be using your hand sanitizer and washing your hands. And that's actually just general cleanliness practices. I personally am not completely against masks, you know. Y'all see me, I still be in the store and I be wearing my mask. Because my thing is people, some people are nasty. People are nasty. And you don't realize how nasty people are until like this whole pandemic situation happened. And now it's like, well, I don't really feel like breathing in the same air y'all be breathing in anyway. So I will continue to wear my mask until I feel like I don't want to wear it no more. Man, this is the second time I done been in Kroger's in two days and I still forgot one more thing. Man, I'm irked. How do I always forget stuff? Hey guys, your girl's back in her old stomping ground, Baytown, y'all. I feel like a lot of vloggers spend a lot of time in their cars, but that's neither here nor there. Anyways, I am back in Baytown. And I just got the infamous, and I have to do it in her voice, sorry. <laughs> She's going to crack up when she sees this vlog. But I have to do it with the infamous. No, that's wrong. I did it good the first time. Damn it. Damn it. Rock. <laughs> I just got me the infamous frozen coke, y'all. <laughs> The first one I had, the first time I got it, was better than this one. This one seemed like the coke going fro, like going flat or something. Mm. Got me a small to carry me over um, till this party start. Now, y'all know this is my pet peeve with black people. Okay. And this is why I come late to things all the time. I come late because I know my family and I know what these black folk are like. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. So, I, the party started at 5 p.m. Y'all, it is 7.10 according to my clock right now. Please tell me why this party ain't, ain't started yet. Nor have they finished setting up because she was like, Oh, yeah, we're still setting up. Um, y'all said five, and I should have not. And this is why I left late. I left late because I was like, Okay, I'm gonna get there at seven, so people should be arriving, or the party should start, or whatever. You know what I mean? By 7 p.m., it ain't started, ain't no one here yet, and they just tidy it up. I hate this life. I hate it with passion. This is why I be coming late to things. Because black people don't know damn time. They really don't. And it's a damn shame that my people are like this. It's a damn shame. Y'all need to start learning some time. That's all I have to say, okay? Sorry, y'all. I had to switch over to my phone because the camera literally stopped recording.
because my memory was full and I need to delete some stuff. So anyway, that's fine or whatever. But let me show you the salmon and the final look. Okay, guys, so this is the salmon. It is seasoned well. And then we've got some butter and some lemon on the top. I am going to cover this in foil and then put it in the refrigerator just so that it can um, soak in the seasons for a little bit. And I'm not going to make it to about an hour before they're due to come because I want the salmon to look like be really nice and soft and basically just melt in your mouth. So I'm not going to cook it until like literally last minute because I don't want to overcook it. Here is the salmon. The butter's all melted. The lemon has drizzled over it. And when I tell you, it, I'm scared to put it back in the oven. I was going to put it back in the oven to have a little bit of color. But it is so tender right now. I don't want it to dry out. So I probably ain't. Huh. But yeah. Looks great. Okay, y'all. Your girl's back. So I am not wearing pastels today because I forgot about it. And um, I just couldn't bother. I just wanted to wear a maxi dress. I was like... I'm about to get fat full, so, you know, I'm just going to wear what I got. So, anyway. Okay, guys, so I'm just in a maxi dress. Nothing fancy with my leopard print <laughs> slippers. <laughs> um, nothing fancy. I just, like I said, I'm about to eat and get fat full. Now that we're done with the outfit of the day, hold on one second. Yeah, um, my family are late, as per usual. They're always late, y'all. And I'm hungry. Like, I'm really, really hungry. But I just want to take a second for this lip, okay? I am living for this lip right now. I'm about to shout out another content creator, kicking it with net, okay? I haven't worn her matte liquid lips in a minute, and I decided to combo Y'all, isn't this a pretty ass combo? I love it, okay? I have chestnut lining the lips just to do a line so that I could follow the line. And then I have her dark brown. I'll have to remember it. I think I used number four and number five. I think it was four and five of hers. But if not, hopefully I'll drop it down in the comment section down below. Um, but it was the dark brown that I used to line it. So I used my liner, chestnut by back and then after that i went in and just did like you know to ombre it a little bit and to just you know make it matte um with her chocolate brown her dark brown which is so cute and then i went in with the pink y'all it's like a peach color and because it meshes in with the brown you just get a light oh god when I first put it on, I was not expecting this dark. Y'all be like, oh, but when it dries down, that's beautiful, you guys. Have a moment for the lip, because I'm so proud of this lip. I love this combo. This is going to be my new favorite combo, and I'm going to be wearing it to work tomorrow. <laughs> I will catch up with you guys later, and I'll show you guys the food when all the food gets here. Sunshades are so I just be buying new sunshades 
and trying to support other businesses too, like black home businesses. Like some of my favorite shades are um, as well that I love. Um, and I got like two or three different in different like colors and stuff. Are these ones and these you can get by kicking it by kicking it with net her line of sunshades. Love them. They're really sturdy as well. I don't really break shades, so I don't know how people do. See, I see this is the dark black ones too. I got two of them in the car. I got these ones in the car. <laughs> it's so bad. My sunshades addiction is bad. But I'm gonna wear my white shades today because I have, you know, white on my outfit. And that's the look I'm going for today. But the only reason why I'm not wearing them right now is because this is the one thing I hate about shades and lashes. My lashes, like my shades, I, those shades I go wear all the way to the end of my nose pretty much because they're hitting with my lashes. And I don't even have that long lashes. Like my lashes ain't even like super, super long today. But still, it just irritates me. And I hate feeling stuck on my lashes and I can't close my eyes. Like, it irritates me. So, we ain't wearing those lashes until then. Anyway, we are heading over to the city center um, today. We are, like I said, just before I left the house on my camera. And I'm trying to vlog a little less on the camera because my camera is going to die. So, right now, you are getting phone footage. <laughs> so, anyway, like I was saying... So we are heading over to city center today um, to meet up with the girls. We're meeting up for lunch. And I think we're gonna get some content shots too um, whilst we're out there. So that's gonna be nice. Um, and I'm looking forward to just chit chatting. Like it's nice sometimes to get out and just chit chat with the girls, you know? Have girl time. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, what? Um, uh, the uh, Moscato. Uh, it doesn't, if I drink a lot of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have a glass of um, Moscato, please. Nine. Thank you. <laughs> My channel is addicted to rock that's addicted the number two roc and y'all let me know y'all came from candy tv yeah y'all right. better go and subscribe Come okay subscribe. we trying to get this girl over the hump yeah we're, we're, we're we right gonna here. get her she right there we're she's right there, there. <laughs> <laughs> and y'all know we will who you know how hard that hump is guys y'all know that hump is something serious Ooh, it's ain't something it? serious Hey y'all, Rock got us going into Fenty. Oh wow. What you getting, girl? I um Oh I love that. Um mascara. I mean the um foundation. <laughs> Thank you. Hey Ali Villano. <laughs> oh, no. Sweet, kind of like vanilla. I used to wear gardenia. That was floral. That's the only floral. And I've seen people with Eden too. Yeah, this is sweet. It's like mm -hmm. a, for those who like sweet. It's giving kind of cotton. Oh, it smells nice. These K R Lee perfumes are actually really nice. I don't know. You know maybe. Who is she? She might be, but. Where's the price? Okay, y'all. So it's 85. It's 85? Yeah. Oh, so it's kind of vanilla y. Oh, yeah, that okay. one's vanilla. And then the one underneath is juicy apple. So it smells good. I like those. Uh, sexy. <laughs> this smells like alcohol. I can't remember which drink it is. Soft and vanilla, eat whatever. This go gonna be okay. This YSL. Have you got it? 
I just got the uh, dossier um, kind of white belt. I mean, it's nice. This replica bubble bath, people be having this in their bathroom. I can't smell it. The replica bubble bath. No, it's actually a real big brand. Is this, huh? When we in Sephora, this is what we do. We shop. We shop. Okay, y'all. So, these right here, the Catalina Herrera Good Girl um, perfumes. I love them. I don't think there's one that I do not like. They're beautiful. You're 107, 132. It just depends. But they are bomb. They smell so good, y'all. So good. And let me, let's just talk about this for a second. Okay, now I love me some Jackie Ino, but I have not found not one candle that I like yet. And y'all can get my facial expression whilst I smell it, because I mean, to I don't know why. People been like. Caked up is really sweet. It sounds smells like a bakery. I could work with that one, especially like during Thanksgiving season. I could probably work with that. But cousin season's okay. Because I do stand by Jackie and I do support her. She's an amazing content creator. And I haven't tried all of her candles, but and thanks to her, we actually got shades that suit us. Cause she was the one that came around and was actually fighting all these brands about getting shades for black people that aren't just three shades. Oh yeah. Yeah, she was the one of the ones that would call out the brands and girl, they they got a new line for black people. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's good for the culture. I stand by her. This is the foundation I'm wearing today, y'all. The born this way foundation. I am wearing the color chai. Yeah. I wear their concealer. And they're better than the sex mascara. I also have that one on today too. Love it. It's bomb. Yeah, it's so pretty in city center, and it's so busy today. Y'all have no idea. Look at the girl. We are heading over to Jen's ice creams. I think. But look at that line. Lord have mercy. That is a long line. Okay, y'all. So the camera did that. So if the footage is looking a little different it's because i switched i'm on my phone now but we're in this line there's a lady oh, hey y'all <laughs> i'm about to I'm about we're here waiting on some ice cream now because it's hot it's 81 oh, out here yeah. right now mm. Y'all, this bramble berry, whatever it is, is the closest thing I think I'm gonna get to strawberry cheesecake. It is. It's good. Okay, one more. Can I try fries, A, please? So, y'all, let me tell you, if you ever come to, what's this place called? Jenny's. The fries, A, so is really good. Jenny's ice cream and the bramble berry crisp. It's good. And we in City Center in Houston. And this guy has been so sweet. I mean, he did tell me that there was no strawberry cheesecake because it's seasonal, but he has been amazing with service. What's your name? He can't hear me. What's your name? Dre. Oscar Dre, y'all. He is so sweet. He's so nice. He a boss. Y'all, so I think I am going to get a waffle cone. Um, but I want the bramble berry crisp. I don't even know what a bramble berry is. So she just got a small scoop in a waffle cone. Good, that's what I'm going to get. Y'all, I thought I was recording this whole time, and that's a damn shame, because I really, really wasn't recording, and I just realized when I pressed stop that it hadn't recorded the damn thing. So anyway, what I was saying was, um, the bramble berry crisp ice cream for Jenny. Jeannie's, Jeannie's. It was really good. It was a really nice ice cream. It kind of 
I've never had brambleberry before, but it kind of reminded me of um, raspberry. It's got like a little bit of a tart flavor. It's kind of reminds me of strawberry cheesecake. So, you know, I didn't, they didn't have my strawberry cheesecake, but I found something else that's similar to it and was going to give me the same type of thing that I was looking for. So the ice cream is good, but that cone, that cone, baby. That cone was salt. Okay, I had to throw it away. I took like three, four bites of it, and I was like, I'm done. I can't eat it. And I love me a waffle cone. Huh? <laughs> it was salt. Okay. I'm a big real job. So next time, y'all just get bold. Don't worry about the cone. Don't waste your time because it ain't worth it. But let me. I just want to show you something real quick, y'all. Remember this, because when we get in the car, I'm going to explain why I just did this. But I'm going to show you someone real quick. Oh, no. Okay, that guy right there. In the striped shirt. Get him. If y'all watch Dara or y'all watch Rock, y'all already know what I'm about to tell y'all. But I'm going to tell y'all when I get to the car, because I can't talk about it right now. turn the AC down. Lord, it's hot though, y'all. telling you, when we start hitting these 80s, it be hot in Texas. I think my hair even puffed up. Oh, anyway, humid. But that was like a nice little breeze today, but still. Anyway, I have a laugh at Dara and Rock. Y'all, they are hilarious. I'm not even gonna lie. We always have a really good time. And obviously, not everything is corn balls, because some things just be happening like straight in the minute. You know, like whilst we're in the minute, in the moment. And you don't always catch those moments. But, y'all, remember how I, I forwarded, I flashed the camera over to a guy that was sitting down, um, like, on the table next to our table outside. And this dude, let me tell you about him, okay? <laughs> let me tell you about him. So, this guy, he was literally, like, all the way over in the green. And when we first got there, he was, when we first came over to the green after having lunch, um, I noticed, I saw him, and I saw him talking to a woman. So I thought that that was his wife. I don't think, maybe it wasn't his wife, maybe I got that story wrong, but I swear. But anyway, he has a wedding ring on. I, I promise you, he had a wedding ring on. Um, so this dude left where he was at. He been watching us, right? He left where he was at. And then he came closer to us. And I'm like, why is he walking close? We all clocked him. Like, we all noticed this dude was just trying to watch us. So it's like, okay, what is he doing? Like, this is just weird. So then, we anyway carry on minding our business or whatever. He talks to Rochelle talking about, uh, what he say? He said, uh, what did he tell her? Oh, that something about like her outfit is banging or something like that. He talked about her outfit and how nice it was or whatever. And yes, my girl looked banging. If y'all watch her vlogs, you already, you saw the outfit that she was wearing. It was cute, you know, a little blue tank top and some pants, orange and blue pants. They were cute, you know, and she got that fine ass figure. So, you know, Stay baby, two lanes. baby got back. <laughs> okay. So, right. So cool. All right. And she's like, oh, thank you. You know, <laughs> we see you. So anyway, we sit down, we having our ice cream or whatever, and then we're about to leave because we're like, okay, let's go take our pictures that we want to take for, you know, the gram, the thumbnails, and I all of the above. So we do that. So we leave to go and take those pictures. As we're leaving, my man stops her, and he's like, oh, um, can I take you out to dinner? When I tell you Rock blasted him, Rock blasted him. And I wish I got it on camera. I wish I caught that part on camera. She turned around to him. Okay, she was not, like, she was still smiling pleasant. But at the same time, like, she gonna correct you. She did just turn around and was like, where's your wife? And she looked at him like, yeah, where's your wife? Because we all see you're wearing a wedding ring. And when we came, you were talking to a woman. And I thought that was your wife. But clearly, this is your hangout host spot. Okay? So, anyway, he decides that. <laughs> he turns around and says to her, Oh, yeah, you're quick, huh? <laughs> and he laughs it off. Like, dude. 
Like it's so sad. Like it's so sad that guys come out to spots. He's got his son with him out there, and you out here taking your son to play. But realistically, you out here dogging and playing in the streets. Let's be real, okay? Use the left three lanes to keep left onto I-610 East. That's really what you're doing. You out here playing in the field, and your wife probably at home taking care of the house, cleaning, doing whatever she's doing, or at work. Who knows what the wife is doing? But wifey's at home doing something. And if you're still wearing your wedding ring, that is a big sign that you're probably still married as a man. In four point. You're probably still married as a man and on top of that things are probably still fine because let me tell you something I feel like men will be the first one to take off that ring honey when things ain't good and they separate from their wives even before a divorce comes through that ring is not on that's all I have to say on that anywho I just think it's really sad it's kind of pathetic and like dude like you there wearing a man purse and with like five man purses on you you got two on either breastplate and on the back and they just look retarded and then the way you like he was just a whole turn off and i wish i took and maybe you'll see him like maybe if you rewind and go back and really look in the background of when i'm doing like you know i'm just showing y'all the area and whatever what's going around us you probably will see him doing what he was doing he kept edging closer edging closer edging closer i just don't like when guys do that like stop acting desperate you're a married man and you're wearing a ring every woman can see that like that's just stupid and retarded to me anyway i just had to get my two cents on that because baby in the words of rock baby <laughs> we ain't about that in 2022 okay leave us alone if you are in a relationship don't look for me if you are married don't look for me if you are engaged don't look for me period don't be in the inbox, don't be in the DMs. Don't try and ask me for my number when you see me in public. Just leave me the hell alone. Thank you. Because what's done in the dark always comes to light. And I believe that.